Here's how to make an adjustable height pot hanger with nothing more than three sticks, some cordage, and a toggle. We'll also look at variations that involve the use of carabiners or S-hooks. Start by making a tripod. Tie the sticks together with a poacher's knot. Other knots can be used here, but I like the poacher's knot for this because you can form it by itself, then slide it onto the stick bundle and easily adjust the tension of the loop. Keep the sticks aligned side by side and tighten up the poacher's knot. With the sticks now tied together, rotate the middle stick around almost one full turn. This will tighten the knot further and grip the tripod legs, giving you a quick substitute for a tripod lashing. This will be more than secure enough to hold the tripod together and support the weight of your pot. Once we have a tripod, we can start making the height adjusting mechanism. Tie a small alpine butterfly knot at the top of the cordage hanging from the tripod, which creates a fixed size loop. This will act as a pulley analogous to the operation of a trucker's hitch. From this point, the simplest way forward would be to feed the line through your pod handle and back up into the pulley loop. Then we can pull more of the line through to raise the pot and gradually release the line to lower it. The working end can be tied off to fix the height. But this method has some major drawbacks. Firstly, to get the pot off of the hanger, you'd have to feed all of the line back through the handle which is annoying and time consuming and your cordage could end up falling into your fire. Secondly, if your pot's handle isn't smooth, the movement of the line through the handle might be jerky, making height adjustments awkward. One way to address this is to use a carabiner for connecting the pot. Any cheap aluminum carabiner will work for this. No need to use an expensive climbing carabiner. You can find them at any hardware store, the dollar store, or via the Amazon link in the description below. You can remove the pot from the hanger by unclipping it, and the smoothness of the carabiner makes a good low friction surface for the cordage to slide through. Similarly, you could use an S-hook instead of a carabiner for the same purpose. It's easier to remove the pot from an S-hook, but it's slightly less secure than the carabiner. You can also use a second carabiner on the top loop to help lower the friction on the line as it moves through the pulley. This relates to why I prefer to use paracord for this setup rather than the usual tarred bank line, because we actually want our cordage to have less surface friction, so it can slide smoothly back and forth through the pulley. Tarred bank line will usually yield a jerkier motion. These carabiner and S-hook variations still have drawbacks in their current form. If the working end comes loose for any reason, the pot will just fall into the fire. Also, these connectors aren't necessarily part of your base kit, so you need to remember to add them. And generally, the fewer things we need to carry, the happier we are. So the most elegant solution, in my opinion, is this next variation that requires only cordage and limits how far the pot can be lowered. Tie the top butterfly loop as before. Then at the lowest position you want your pot to hang, create another alpine butterfly loop. The pot will never go any lower than this bottom loop, even if the working end is completely loose. Connect your pot to the bottom loop using the toggle. Then feed the rest of the line through the upper loop until it's taut. Now you can pull more line through to raise the pot and release the line to lower it. You can use a carabiner on the upper pulley like we did earlier if you need less friction, but I find it's not necessary with paracord. To secure the pot at a given height, you can simply place an object like a log on top of it. Just make sure it's heavy enough to prevent the line from slipping.
You could also tie it off to a nearby object like a tree or a tent stake using a taut line hitch, so you can adjust the height without untying the knot. Just make sure the tie-off point is low enough so that this angle isn't too large. Otherwise, you might be putting too much lateral force on the tripod, causing it to tip or destabilize. I hope this is useful, and let me know in the comments if you discover any ways to improve this configuration further. Until next time.